Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions flashed on the screen. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today we celebrate the Solemnity of Pentecost. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father John Paolo Bautista, SHMI. Please stand and join the choir in singing the entrance song. Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. You are 
O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the district of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Blessing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and they return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also is Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the sequence. Together, come Holy Spirit, come, 
and from your celestial home, shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of all our store. Come within our bosom shine. You of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcome guest, sweet refreshment here below. In our labor, rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours and our inmost being fill. Where you are not, we have not, nothing good in deed or thought, nothing free from taint or ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew, on our dryness pour your dew, wash the stains of guilt away, bend the stubborn heart and will, melt the frozen, warm the chill, guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore and confess you, evermore in your sevenfold gift descend. Give them virtue's sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Una sa lahat, pakisabi sa inyong katabi, Happy Birthday. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon dahil ngayon ay ang birthday ng Catholic Church. 2,022 years old. Imagine that. Ang simbahang katoliko ngayong kapistahan ng Pentecostes ay nagdiriwang sa buong mundo ng kanyang kaarawan. Kaya ako nakakulay pula. Kapag pula nakikita nyo po, nakikita nyo lang ito pag Valentine's. Sa simbahan ho, ang pula, ang ibig sabihin ho ay dalawang meaning, blood and fire. Pag sabi mong blood, yung mga martyrs na nagbuhos ng kanilang buhay sa kanilang testimony kay Kristo at sa simbahan. Pag sabi mong red or blood, yan yung mga apostles na naglaan ng kanilang buhay sa proclamation, evangelization. Usually kapag ang isang bishop o kardinal na matay, I saw that sa Italy, even si Pope John Paul II, 2004, nung namatay siya, ang sot-sot niyang vestment, red. Eh di ba sa atin sa Pilipinas, bawal po yung magsosot ka ng red kapag minamatay, parang insulto. Doon po kapag yung bishop o yung cardinal namatay, red. Sign ng sila ay successor ng mga apostles. Sa church, it also means fire. Fire means Holy Spirit. Fire means Siya yung tutupok sa kayabangan ng isang tao. Siya yung tutupok sa pagiging masungit ng isang tao. Siya yung tutupok sa pagiging makasaril ng isang tao. Pakitignan po ang inyong katabi. Pakisabi, gusto matupok. <laughs> Hindi pa naman. 
Wag muna. So itong fire na to sa simbahan, yan ang dumadaloy sa simbahan ng apoy ng Espiritu Santo. Kapag po nakakita po kayo sa inyong katabi na may apoy sa ulo, okay lang po yun. Nasa kanyang Espiritu Santo. Pero kapag ang apoy galing sa kanyang bibig, ay iba na po yun. May problema. Meron magiging uh, problema. Sa simbahan po, ang red means color ng cardinal. Ibig sabihin no, they offer their life for the service of the church. Kapag po pinag-uusapan ang monarchy, ang nobility, only the, the king or queen or Roman emperor or emperor wear red because it signifies that they're a prominent, important person. Pero sa church, ang nagsusot ng kulay red is the cardinal, meaning to say sila advisor ng Pope. Three days ago, four days ago, may bagong ninominate si Pope Francis, 21 new cardinals. At isa doon ay yung isang paring simple na naka-station sa Africa. Bakit ginawang cardinal yung isang pare? Hindi ba dapat sa bishop o sa archbishop? At bakit doon sa isang mission area sa Africa? Because this Pope, Pope Francis believed, na he plays an important role in the life and spirituality of the African people at sa part ng contribution niya sa church. Usually ang red, nakikita niyo po ito pag palaspas, kapag Good Friday, kapag po merong confirmation or compil, at kapag po may pinagdiriwang na special saints sa church, naka-red. Pero more than that, it signifies na kaya mo ibigay ang iyong buhay kay Christ, kay God, at sa church. Kaya po, nag-red. Christ, last Sunday ascension, left us a church. Church from the Greek word, ecclesia. Ecclesia, hindi siya building. Hindi siya yung parokya o simbahan na bato. Kundi each one ay church. Pakitapik pong yung katabi. Pakisabi, ikaw ang simbahan. Yan. Hindi po simbahan ang pare. Hindi simbahan ng mga bishop. Hindi simbahan ng CBCP. Ang totoong simbahan ay tayong lahat na binaptismohan. Ikaw at ako ay simbahan. Kami mga pari, magiging wala kaming silbi kung wala po kayo. At kailangan nyo po ng pari to continue the sacrifice of the Holy Mass. Christ, when He ascended into heaven, He said, Wait for a while sa upper room, sa sinakel, because I will send the Holy Spirit. At yung Spirit na yon, during Pentecost day, kaya sila yung Pentecost, from the word Pente, the 50th day. Kung bibilangin niyo po yung resurrection, nag-Easter Sunday tayo hanggang ngayon, ito yung 50th day na kung saan si Christ pinulfilled niya yung kanyang promise that He will send us yung kanyang Spirit. Spirit, ang tawag mo sa Hebrew is Ruah. Hininga, hangin, Espiritu. Mapapansin niyo rin po na sa araw, sa misa, papansin niyo po ito, yung pari humahalik sa altar before the start of the Mass and after the start of the Mass. What does it mean? Na kami mga pare, we consecrated ourselves sa church at yung aming halik recognizes na ito ang altar of Christ na nandito mamaya gaganapin ang sacrifice, yung ostya at yung alak magiging kanyang katawan at dugo yung aming commitment sa service, sa divine service, at yung aming representation like altar Christus kay Kristo. Kaya kami humahalik pagibigay na buong buhay namin sa serbisyo ng banal na Eucharistia. Ganon din po sa mag-asawa. Sino po rito mga mag-asawa po? Taas po yung kamay. Ay, siya po ba talaga? Siya talaga. Bakit po? Naalala niyo yung sinasabi ng pari during your wedding day, ano sinabi sa inyo? You may kiss the groom. You may kiss the bride. Bakit part ng rituals ng simbahan na yung couple nakikis pagkatapos ng ceremonias? It means that in front of the Christian assembly, they exchange life. Pagbibigay ng hininga, hangin, espiritu. Nasa Biblia yan. Genesis chapter 2, when God created Adam and Eve, ano sabi ni God kay Adam? Ruah, huminga siya. Si Christ sa cruz, nung bago mamatay, kung sumatom es, it is finished. 
No si Christ muling nabuhay sa resurrection, sa sinakal, sa upper room, ano sabi sa gospel? He breathed on them. Pagibigay ni Espiritu. At yung Espiritu na yan, ang tawag mo sa Greek is dynamis. Dynamis is ag paggalaw. Hindi siya force. Sa Star Wars ko lang naririnig yun. Dynamis meaning ang paggalaw. Kaya ang isang community na gumagalaw, puspos ng Espiritu Santo. Ang isang pamilyang kumikilos, sabay-sabay, sama-sama, puspos ng Espiritu Santo. Ang isang simbahan, ang isang pamayan na gumagalaw, puspos ng Espiritu Santo. Ang isang relasyon na gumagalaw, punong-puno ng Espiritu Santo. Kapag dumating na sa moment na, Be, tumayo ka na dyan, magsisimba na tayo. Ikaw na lang, natali ang basketball kagabi. Ay, nako, kulang sa Espiritu Santo. Pag sinabi mo sa yung asawa, kain tayo sa labas sa yung partner, busog ako, gagastos ka na naman. Ay, walang Espiritu Santo. Kapag ang isang pamilya, hindi na, di, mami, daddy, alis tayo, bakasyon tayo, puno tayo sa ganon. Pag nagagastos na naman, pag ang isang pamilya, hindi na gumagalaw, kulang sa Espiritu Santo. Let's ask the Holy Spirit na puspusin niya ang pamilya, ang ating relasyon, ang bawat isa ng paggalaw at pagkilos. To finish, paano malalaman ngayon kung ang isang simbahan ay totoong simbahan? Paano malalaman? You know, brothers and sisters, we do respect to some of the participants if in case, and those who are watching us, it's about time to tell the truth that not all churches are the same. Minsan, yun ang ating ninegotiate o kinakompromise. Father, pareho lang naman ang simbahan. Wrong. Father, isa lang naman ang ginagawa ng simbahan. Spiritual, religious. Wrong. Christ instituted the Eucharist, Last Supper. Christ ordained yung 12 apostles because sa Old Testament may 12 tribes of Israel. Sa New Testament, merong 12 apostles, meaning to say, may continuation ng plano ng Diyos na lumang tipan sa bagong tipan at inordinahan ni Kristo ng huling hapunan ang kanyang labing dalawang alagad para pagpatuloy ang banal na Eucharistia. As Jesus said, do this in memory of me. Si Christ, hindi niya tayo iniwanan ng Biblia. Tandaan niyo po ito. Iniwanan niya tayo ng isang ina. Naalala niyo po sa Cruz. Son, behold thy mother. Mother, behold thy son. At tinanggap ni San Juan, si Maria, sa kanyang pamayanan, sa kanyang simbahan na iniiwanan. Kaya pansinin niyo po, tayo lang ang may Mama Mary. Tayo lang ang naniniwala sa nanay ni Jesus, na si Blessed Mother. Tinanggal niya ng iba inalis niya ng iba. Kung si Kristo nag-iwan ng kanyang ina sa ating simbahan na vinevenerate natin si Mary. Attention, hindi natin sinasamba si Maria. We venerate her because she is the mother of Jesus. At nasa Ten Commandment, honor their father and their mother. Hindi na remove ng simbahang katoliko si Blessed Mother because she is part of the salvation history because of her yes kaya natuloy ang plano ng Diyos. Hindi pangalawang iniwan ng Panginoon ay ang Eucharistia. Banal na, kumun, na, uh, na komunyon. Alam niyo po, ate kuya, it's about time to tell you. Noon po, isa lang ang religion ng Christianism, and that is the Catholic Church. Check niyo sa Google, check niyo po sa encyclopedias. Catholic Church, founded by Jesus Christ. Catholic Church, founded by Jesus Christ. Sa kanyang successor na si Peter at sa 267 popes until now, buhay pa rin ang pope, hindi na putol yung apostolic chain. And until now, in spite of difficulties ng simbahan, in spite of struggles ng simbahan, maraming won- nagwawasak sa simbahan, nandyan ang mafia, nandyan ang illuminati, nandyan ang mga anti-church, nandyan ang mga French Revolution, nandyan yung mga famous people would like to destroy the church, but the church remain standing and strong. 2,022 years old. Iniwanan niya ng priest. Ito po ang final. Kung mapapansin niyo po, sa Old Testament, and I end, ang mga Old Testament, meron silang synagogue where they gather together to listen sa word ni God. At every year, they go to Jerusalem to offer yung kanilang sacrifice sa priest ng temple para sa remission ng kanilang sin. Inaalay nila yung, back, yung lamb na single, unblemished, at young. At tinatanggap yan ng priest, 
kinakatay, sinusunog, at umuwi silang believing na pinatawad sila ng Panginoon. Ate, kuya, nasa atin po yung dalawang elementong yan. Nandito ang lectern, nandito yung ambo, we share together the Word of God at yung sacrifice, pinagpapatuloy natin sa altar kung saan nandito natin mamaya kakainin ang katawan at dugo ni Kristo. Sila ang nag ng altar. Sila ang nagtanggal ng altar. Sila ang walang altar. At ang pinalitan nila, pulpito. Bible study, Bible sharing. Bakit nila tinanggal ng altar? Kasi ang altar, connected sa priesthood. Ang altar, connected sa Eucharist of the Lord. So, pag tinanggal mo ang altar, pinalit mo ang lectern, ayun na, naging simba-simbahan na, naging part na ng isang assembly. Pero ang isang totoong simbahan, founded by Jesus Christ, there is the Blessed Mother, there is the bishops, successor of the apostles, there is the Eucharist and the scriptures, and much more, there is the Christian people gathering together, having one faith, one baptism, and one Lord Jesus Christ. Happy birthday sa ating lahat. Palakpakan natin ang ating Panginoon. I believe in God, we stand the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We invoke the Holy Spirit that we may be empowered by the recent Christ, relentless love and redemption, as we say, Father, make us bearers of the fire of your love. Father, make us bearers of the fire of your love. For the church, may Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, and lay people bear faithful witness to the Holy Spirit, who was manifest in the first Pentecost and is still present today in their discernment and the choices they make for the church and all the people of goodwill, we pray. Father, make us bearers of the fire of your love. For all who serve in government, may the policies they make and their implementation of the constitutions reflect your loving kindness. May the spirit of truth reign unopposed in their hearts, we pray. Father, make us bearers of the fire of your love. For those who are undergoing great suffering, may they find consolation in the warmth of your love found in the presence and help of people around them, we pray. Father, make us bearers of the fire of your love. For our departed loved ones, welcome them into your eternal communion in heaven. May their bereaved families find consolation through their love and care for each other, we pray. Father, make us bearers of the fire of your love. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, make us bearers of the fire of your love. Almighty Father, you sent Almighty Father, your Son sent the Holy Spirit so you may gather us back to our communion. Set our hearts aflame by the gifts of your Spirit that we may bear fruits towards the building of your kingdom here on earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly remain standing for the presentation of the gifts.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit, may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us to all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestow the Holy Spirit today on those who made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to, be, to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We stand. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit lord remember a church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope jesse our bishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all you have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with all the apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For an orderly receiving of Holy Communion by Rose, please allow our ushers to guide you. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who bestowed heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Everyone is invited to stay and join the feast that will follow after the Mass. And in behalf of the entire Feast Bellevue PM family, we would like to thank our Mass presider, Reverend Father Pipo Bautista, SHMI, for celebrating the Holy Eucharist with us. Marami salamat po. Makikita pa rin po tayo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the Father of lights, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the Paraclete, grant you gladness by His blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith, and by believing, you may journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Happy birthday.
Welcome everybody and um, we'd like to invite everyone as we come into worship. Can I invite you all to stand? And I'd like to share with you a story that happened last week. We had the privilege, my wife was in uh, Quezon and she was there. And I had this very wonderful experience of meeting her cousins. Especially this girl, her name is Clay. Clay was uh, is 20 plus years old, and then her parents asked us to pray over her. You see, Clay has what they call a Hodgkin's lymphoma, and she's been undergoing treatment. She's still undergoing treatment right now. And you know, Clay, nung nakilala ko siya, nung nakikita ko siya, I was observing her, she had the most wonderful smile. And to think na she's undergoing all that pain through chemotherapy, and yet her face shines. And I was thinking, I was so blessed and inspired by her. Because I believe she made a choice, a very, very good choice, to believe in the promises of God rather than focus on the pain that she's undergoing. And I was so happy because in her I I saw hope, I saw love, I saw provision from God, and I saw mercy and it is a wonderful thing when you make a decision to put your trust in God in everything that is happening in your life you can always smile amen so I don't know if this experience is speaking to someone today who's having that feeling of pain feeling of hopelessness and if that is you today I encourage you to look at where you are today. You woke up today. That's a blessing. Amen? You are here today in the presence of people who worship God. That is a blessing. And you are here in this place because you know God is in here. Amen? So we will acknowledge God's presence today. And I invite you to to put your trust in the Lord whatever it is that you're experiencing right now. As we come into prayer, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge your presence here today. And we can feel your embrace in our situation, in our life. Because we know that whatever is happening in our life, right now whatever our story is we want you to be part of this story you are a part of this story lord and we claim victory in everything lord that we are experiencing in our finances in our health in our work because we know you are here we put our faith above our fear lord because you are stronger you are more faithful and you are everlasting and you are the ever loving God. Amen.
everyone to make a loud shout of praise. Woo! Come on, let's go! Amen, amen. Praise you, Jesus. Now, before we start, can I just see a raise of hands wherever you are? You don't have to come here. How many of you here are first-timers? It's your first time to come here at the feast. Wow! One, one family over here. Welcome to the feast here in Bellevue PM. And for the rest, welcome din po. And if it's your first time to watch our online stream, welcome. We're glad to have you here on site. We have lots of chairs waiting for you. And if you're watching online, we want to tell you that the complete feast experience is happening here. You can have it at home, pero iba pa rin eh. Iba yung kumakanta ka ng kasama kami. Iba yung nagtataas ka ng kamay dito. Remember, before the the pandemic, before you we went back, we were all watching it online, correct? And you hear the music and you want to worship, but not everybody at home wants to worship with you. And you have second thoughts of raising your hand. Nagwo worship ka pero na aganyang kalang. You are all I. Hindi, hindi ka pa makakanta ng malakas eh, kasi may istor mo yung may ibang kasama mo sa bahay. But here, you can sing your heart out. You can dance, you can sing, you can worship, and you can communicate with others who are also worshiping with you. Amen? And for all our friends who are here for the longest time, I just want to ask you a very simple question for today. Do you still remember the first day that you attended the feast? Bakit ka nagpunta dito? Sinong nag-invite sa'yo? Meron ba? O nag-walk in ka lang, napadaan ka, or nag-check in kay dito sa Bellevue, tapos, uy, may misa daw doon, mamayang hapon, sakto, pagka-check out, diretso tayo. Magsimba tayo, tapos dumiretso na, ay, may, may talk, ay, ang, ang, ang guwapo ng preacher. Hindi po ako yun, si Brother Mike. <laughs> ay, ang guwapo ng preacher, sige, mag-stay na tayo. And eventually, you became part of the feast. We all have different stories. I have a different story as well. Ako kasi, I follow Brother Bo Sanchez and I, I would drive all the way from my house in Paranaque 
all the way to Valle Verde just to hear him preach way back in 2008. Now all of us have different stories, but I believe just as we celebrate Pentecost today, it was by the power of the Holy Spirit that moved our hearts to go where we need to be so that we can hear God's message. Amen? God called you. And as you, you sit there, the Holy Spirit is moving. Different preachers give different versions of the talk. Same content, same one big message, but different delivery. And as you go out, most of the time you go out with friends or family, and then you talk about what you heard. Tama? And then as you walk out, ikaw, ano nakatouch tayo? And, and one of your friends will tell you, sa akin yung sinabi ni brother na ganito. Tapos siya, iba yung sa kanya. But the message that you pick is the message of the Holy Spirit that He wants you to have. And as you step out, you know you will go home to the same problems that you left coming here. But this time, as you step out, you know you are stronger. You know you step out, you are braver. You know you are more confident. You know you are equipped by the power of the Holy Spirit to face that problem. Anjan pa rin yan, pero kaya ko yan. Dahil empowered ako ng Holy Spirit. Because of the message that I heard today. So as you stay with us for the rest of the talk, I pray that the Holy Spirit speaks to you so that you can bring home the message that you need to bring and you can face the problems that you need to face when you go home. Amen? Let's all pray our favorite prayer here at the feast. All together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. As you sit down, tap the person beside you and say, Be ready to be blessed. Good afternoon once again. So for today, Brother Mike won't be with us. Just like all the builders, we are required, I use the word required, to be on leave once in a while to take a break. Kasi ayaw nating ma-burn out yung mga brother builders natin. So, for today, we invited another builder who is well-equipped to de deliver God's message. He is not new to the Feast Alabang District para na natin tong kapamilya. So, I'd like to introduce my good brother and friend all the way from Feast Carmona, Brother Drew's Kosho. Ang ganda ng suot namin ni eh, Kuya Oying, no? Ba -ba bago lang, bago lang uh, bumaba si Kuya Oying, pagdating na pagdating ko, I'm in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi po kami nag-usap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kuya Oying. Good afternoon! But seriously, when, when, when I went inside the room, tapos nakita ko si Kuya Oying kanina. So, I call Kuya Oying, Kuya Oying. You know, I, I really, I want to honor your builders here in, in Feast Bellevue PM. Um, Brother Mike is, alam mo, grabe yung generosity. When, when Mike Venus uh, speaks to people, you...
kakitingin yung katabi mo ulit. Do you believe that that is God's grace to you? <laughs> Do you believe that that person, nung nagpe-pray ka ng something, Lord, give me a friend, give me a family, give me a wife, give me a husband, give me children. Y- yung katabi mo ngayon, is that God's grace to you? <laughs> Iba yun talaga sa, yes! Ganyan si Ganila. The one big message I want to share with you this afternoon is this, the door is open. I gave this message it's a first feast, first face-to-face feast namin sa Carmona. And sabi ko, Lord, what do you want me to give? Anong message yung magandang ibigay sa tao? Ano ba yung mensahe yung gusto mong ibigay? And I never believed in coincidence. I always believed in divinities. When things happen, God wants, God is preparing a miracle for you. Kaya ang ganda sabi ni Brother Oying kanina eh. Di ba, you're here for a reason, you're here for a purpose. Some of you, you will realize this week, kaya pala ako nag-feast sa Belvin ng half ng afternoon para dito. Some of you will realize that years after. You will remember this day, ah, kaya pala ako nag during that time kasi in pala ako ni Lord. And there's grace. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and it is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. Kaya ang ganda pati ng worship natin kanina, di ba? It is by grace we have been saved. Question. Okay? What did the past two years exposed in your life? You know, the pandemic, the COVID uh, thing that happened to us, it's something that talagang left took siya na parang we never imagined it's gonna happen to the world. Diba? We, we, we know there's business, there's career, there's uh, single life or married life. Pero yung biglang magkakaroon ng COVID, na lockdown, nakamas tayo hanggang ngayon, we never imagined this to happen. Diba? Na, 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 naisip po ba na, ay, by 2020, magkakaroon ng lockdown, tapos nakamask na kaming lahat. Sa nilipat ni oxygen, bibili na namin ngayon. We never, we never expected that to happen. But what did it expose in your life in the past two years? Aside sa, yung iba, hindi nyo na ginagamit in the past two years, di ba? Suddenly, some of you are not wearing pants anymore. Naka-shorts ka na lang. Magkakipag-meeting ka, sanay ka na naka-semi-formal, formal sa taas, casual sa baba. Diba, ganun ginagawa nyo. Yung iba sa inyo, pag may meeting, diba, ibang klase ang Zoom meeting eh. Zoom meeting is, pag, pag ngayon face-to-face, anong oras ang meetup natin? 4 p.m. O oh, 2 p.m., maalis ka na ng bahay. Eh, pag nasa bahay ka, anong oras ang meeting? 4 p.m., 3.50, mamaya na. Okay, 3.55, teka lang, set up ako, set up. Muta pa, muta pa. Alata ba? Hindi naman, diba? Okay. Enter kang ganyan, diba? Pasok ka na ganun, ibang-iba. And sabi ko nga during the time, I hope sana yung, yung toothbrush ginagamit pa din. <laughs> di ba? Kasi ka, kahit di ka naman naamoy, kailangan mo yung proper hygiene yan. Yung deodorant mo, oy, ako grabe yung deodorant. Sabi ko, ay, pwede po lang konti na lang kapag work, pag work from home ka. <laughs> Tapos mag-aaway kami mag-asawa, yung away na ano, ha, nakatuwa, ano, ano, labanan tayo. Sige, papawis tayo, walang deodorant, ano? Ha? Amoyan pagkatapos, amoyan pagkatapos. Yung mga ganyang asara namin. But you know, after two years, I was reflecting. There's so many things that happened in the past two years, but I was reflecting, what is this thing exposing in my life? It is telling me that everything is grace. When I see that I'm still alive, everything is grace. Someone lost their job. Their jobs. I was talking to people and their trench and then was able to find another job. Grace. Someone had a problem in the business during that time, but then was able to pick up again. Now, grace. Yung iba, pumasok ng 2020, single pa. O, oh, wala na ako sasabihin pagkatapos. <laughs> Nakaabang yung mga single na tao. Parang iba kasi inaantay nila, ako yun. Pagkatapos, may love life na ako, brother. Di ba? Pumasok ang 2020, isa pa lang ang anak namin. Natapos ang pandemic, dalawa na. Diba? Ibang klase talaga ang 24-7 work from home. Grace. And I really realize that everything that happens in your life, grace. When we were born, grace. When we were conceived, grace. How can you, nag-aral ka sa exam mo, diba? Lahat inaral mo na. And tapos sa dili, magbablock ka tayo talaga. Ano, ano yun? Tapos mawawala sa utak mo. But because you remember, that's Grace. Without God's grace, only skill, we will not succeed in this life. Are you getting me? 
We need God's grace. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, kailangan mo ng grasya. And grace is two things. Number one, it's available. And number two, it's powerful. It exposed to me in the past two years that grace is very much available. Nasa paligid siya. And it's very, very, very powerful. I've seen grace transform someone who's addicted to sin or to, to one addiction into transformation na, ay, nag-worship pa siya kay Lord ngayon. That's grace. I've seen grace uh, work to someone else's life na, ay, dati cheater siya. Ngayon, faithful na siya sa asawa niya. Alam niyo, kawawa nga yung mga ibang tao ngayon eh. Sang sabi ko, Lord, wag naman tayo mapangusga sa Facebook. Lalo na yung mga pangalang Jason. Sabi ko, wag niyong lahatin. <laughs> Di ba? Ano, yung mga kaibigan kong Jason, pari, ako na naman to, ako na naman to. And we are in the marriage uh, ministry kami ng wife ko. Outside the feast, that's our ministry. That's why we have the kosho community in TikTok, in podcast. We've been talking to, to, to married people. Sabi ko nga, cheating, hindi yan pinagtatawanan. It's something that we need to address really. It's something that we need to guide and support people who've underwent through that situation. Kasi ang hirap niyan, ha? While people are ha- making fun, yung, yung affected, ibang pinagdadaanan nila. So, sabi ko, kailangan, kailangan nila ng grace. And grace is powerful. That's why today, I, I really want to give the message, the door is open. Why? Kasi, alam niyo, itong, itong verse na to, may, 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 may word na kasabay dito. Can everybody say, justification? Ang ganyan justification na word, di ba? Parang discipleship lang yan. If someone goes to you in Starbucks, you're taking, you're a coffee ka, tap tap ka, or work ka, or maybe you're talking to someone, someone approaches you, hi, uh, excuse me, um, pwede ba tayo mag-discipleship? How will you react? Ano daw? Ano daw, Brad? Discipleship? Ano yun? Di ba? And parang, I don't want to talk about it. And how much more justification? But justification has been always attached to this verse in Ephesians that you have been saved by grace. And when we say justification, people talk about salvation, people talk about I'm saved, I'm freed. Imagine going to the mall. Sige lang, yung hindi nagpifis, lapitan mo. Hi, hello. Um, alam mo ba yung justification? Alam niya yung sa mga MS word, yung ganun. Di ba? Hindi, hindi, justification. But people don't want to hear about it. Di ba noong araw, pinagtatawalan nga ng ibang tao kapag other religion nalapit sa'yo eh. Excuse me, are you saved? Diba nung araw parang nagkaroon patuloy ng, ng parang division about religion because of those things? But then in reality, the, that verse that I'm sharing to you right now is really about justification. It's about someone paving the way for you. When my mom died 2017 because of cancer, naiwan kami ng misis ko sa bahay na ang kalat ng bahay, umuwi na pabalik ng Australia yung, yung, yung ate ko, family niya, yung kuya ko, bumalik ng Cebu, yung tatay ko, kinuha muna ng sister ko para makapagpahinga kami. Pagdating namin sa bahay, kami ng misis ko, titingin na na ganyan, gagawin natin dito, daming gamit, benta natin lahat to. Tapos punta kami ng Santa Rosa. And then, ito na pinak problema namin. How, will, how are we going to settle estate taxes? Isa na yun, eh, di ba? In properties, how do you transfer it? How do you fix Hala, anong mali ko dito? Kailangan ko ng tulong. So I talked to someone. May bigla lumapit sa amin from Batangas kasi yung, yung, yung property ng, ng mother ko nasa Batangas. And tuwing umuubi ng Batangas ang mother ko, lagi siyang bumibili ng mga pampasalubong. Sino sa inyo nung bata ang nakarana, nakaranas, uwian ng pasalubong, taas ang kamay? Ayan. Sino gusto ng pasalubong mamaya, taas ang kamay? Ayan, pakisabi sa katabi mo, okay lang yan. Bumibili siya ng mga, sa, alam niyo, simple candies, kasi may bata sa, sa, sa San Juan, sa Batangas. My mom would always buy that. And then, nung namatay siya, there was this lady who approached me and talked to me and said, Ikaw ba si Drus? Anak ka ba ni Emma? Sabi ko, opo, naghahanap kasi kami ng tulong. I need an accountant, someone who can help us with the estate tax. Tapos, alam mo, nag-coffee date kami sa, ano, sa festival mall. Doon, doon niya kami minit. Galing siya ng Batangas. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, ako nang bahalang mag-ayos ng estate taxes nyo. Sabi ko, uy talaga po, salamat po. Ah. Ano po bang kailangan namin? Magkano pong gawin? Ganito, binigay niya yung price. O, hindi pa sure, papakumpit natin. Eh yung service mo, magkanong babayaran ko sa'yo? Sabi niya, alam mo, hindi ko kilala ang mama mo. Pero tuwing umuwi ako ng bahay sa Batangas, yung anak ko at saka yung mga pamangkin ko, naririnig ko ang pangalan ng Tita Emma. Bakit? Kasi lagi daw may uwing tsokolate, may uwing ensaymada, may uwing mga toy na kahit plastic balls man lang, small mga shoes. Tapos kilalang kilala sila ng anak ko at saka ng pamangkin ko. Pero hindi ko siya kilala. 
Pero dahil doon, sabi niya, alam mo, I'm very grateful. Huwag mo na akong bayaran. Ako nang bahala mag-ayos ng estate taxes niyo. Alam mo, ako parang, talaga po? Pati po yung taxes, bayaran niyo na. <laughs> Pero anong tawag ko dito? When I went to Batangas, everything was prepared for me. The, the family na nag-aayos ng farm lot doon, nakilala ko, kilala na lang nila ako. Bakit? Everything was paved already by my mom. Bata pa lang kami, pumupunta na siya doon, kakilala niya na, kaibigan niya na. Sa tuwing, alam mo, pag uuwi ako doon, ha- kailangan ko lang in-name drop pangalan ng lolo ko at saka ng nanay ko, okay na. Anak po ako ni Emma, ni Kapaterno. Ah, talaga? Okay na. Okay na lahat. Bakit? And I call it, my mom already paved the way for me. Are you getting it? Diba? Yung pagdating mo doon, nakaayos na. And you know, that's what God did for us in justification. It was already paved the way for you. Before ka pinanganak, it says there that you have been saved by grace. Initial, the initial salvation already happened. The initial blessing was already there. The miracles were already prepared for you. And I want to talk about that today. Because at times we forget about it and we end up getting sick. We end up having so much stress. We end up fighting with, with each other. And I just want to, to, for, for this place to be filled with grace today. So can everybody... Shout with a lot. Sige lang, huwag niyo sobrang lakas na ano lang. Ha? Kaya niyo sabihin mo lang, Grace! Grace. Ayan. Sa katabi niyo sabihin mo, Grace! Grace. O, oh, ayan. Di ba, buti nakamaskara kayo. Hindi niyo naamoy yung, yung buga ng grace nila. Because of God's grace, real grace makes us humble. When you realize everything is grace, it's gonna make you humble. It's gonna make you, re- ah, I'm gonna let go. Kaya nga in Matthew chapter 6, you know, we love praying to God, Lord, thank you so much, Lord, we worship you, but I want to remind everyone, may, maybe not forget one part of the Our Father when it says, give us today the food we need and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. May we not forget to forgive and ask for forgiveness because everything is Grace. Everything is grace. Kaya nga with that, I want to share with you three things now. How do we cooperate with grace? How do we, Lord, I have my prayer. I have my, sige nga, survey tayo. Who among you here are praying for your family? Raise your hands. Oh, wow, praise the Lord. Tayo lahat, no? Who among you here are praying for someone who is sick and asking for healing? Amen. 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 Sige lang. I pray that God God's healing miracles be upon you and upon that person that you pray mo. Who among here are praying for business? Meron ba? Okay. Let's pray for provisions. Praying for um, career. Ah, okay. Sige lang, pag-pray natin. Ang asarap sa feast, no? Lahat tayo mag-pray. Meron ba ditong single na nag-pray for love life? Ulitin ko, ha? Teka lang, nah- nahiya ako. Ayoko tumingin, may nakita ako, eh. May nak- Kasi nakita ko yung iba tumaas ng kamay. Yung isa gumento. <laughs> Teka lang ha. Okay, okay, okay. Woo, relax, relax. Wala munang titingin sa left and right. Hayaan mo sila magtaas ng kamay. Mer- meron ba dito nagpe-pray na single for love life? Taas ang kamay? Oh, hindi, hiya sila bigla, oh. Taas nyo. Malay nyo. Pagtingin mo. Ikaw. Pag ganun ka pala. You're praying for something. We are all praying for something. And today, I'm going to share three things about cooperating with grace. Number one. Okay, number one. Tagalog to ha, para mas masarap namdamin. Number one, tiwala ka pa kasi may grasya. Amen? Sige, palapakan natin sa Lord. Tiwala ka pa kasi may Grasya. Alam nyo, for the longest time, God was asking me, trust me, trust me, trust the grace that I'm giving you, trust the grace that is in you. Tiwala ka pa, panigtiwala ka pa kasi may grasya, you will realize, you will receive the best answer to your prayers. In mind, it's not that God will tell you what you're asking for. God is giving you what you need. Suddenly, may grasya. Bakit? I was courting someone else, tapos may dumating na biglang isang babae na, uy, nakita kong ganda. Naging asawa ko, may grasya. ba? Tapos I was praying for a ministry. Tapos bigyan naglala kong feast. May grasya. 
I was praying for a job. And then God gave me a business. My gracia. You, you, you're praying for something, then you receive a different version, and it's blessing you now. My gracia. My mom was sick. Anong hope ko? Mabuhay siya na mahabang buhay pa. Eh hindi. Wala bang gracia? My gracia. Because God's grace inside of me was telling me, hindi nasagot yung pinakagusto mo. But my grace is telling you, you are still okay. You are still okay. Because your mom is with me in heaven. Akala mo end of your life? Hindi pa. Okay ka pa rin. At marami pang padating sa buhay mo. Kaya tiwala ka pa kasi may grasya. Kaya nga itong next picture, na- naalala ko to. Kasi ito yung pinaka last na usapan namin ng wife ko about this topic na my brother Bo guested us at TRC for couples. It's all about finances. Tapos, brother Bo, sisimula yan. Sir, brother Bo, ganyan siya, di ba? So, how are you, Drews? How are you, love? And ako, I would always say, ah, we're doing great. Kasi nga naman, we acknowledge God's presence. We're doing great. And then, eto na. Since I have a three-year-old daughter and an eight-month-old son, and I know maybe my wife is watching right now in the online kasi hindi ko siya kasama ngayon. Hi, mommy, you look so beautiful today. Just in case, um, I love you. <laughs> di ba? I always tell this, especially pag nagpifeast ako, yung, yung Zoom online feast lagi nung araw, napagod na pagod ako. Bakit? Aba, I prayed for children. I prayed to have kids. Pero hindi ko naman akalain na grabe magpupuyatan pala talaga. Di ba? Especially pag mayroon kang 3-year-old saka 8-month-old na habang pinapatulog mo yung isa, umiinyak yung isa, may gising ulit yung isa. Ganun ang sinari sa amin eh. Tulog na si Anya. Huwag kayo maingay, okay? Tapos bigyan si Pio. Ako naman, huwag magigising. Bigyan si Anya. Patay tayo, gising na naman to. O kaya magtatrabaho ako 2 a.m., 4 a.m. Matutulog na ako ng 4 a.m. That's when biglang Anya will, will, will wake up and say, Papa Kerry, ako, anak, di pa ako natutulog. And then I will always say that. Pag nasa feast na ako, good morning, feast caramona family, you know what? Iba talagang walang tulog, ibang puyat. I, I, I always say that. And then Brother Bo said, kamusta na kayo? And sabi ko, Brother Bo, we're doing great. Yun nga lang, puyat kami, ganda, ganyan. And then you know, my wife after that, she spoke to me, Drews, uh, Daddy, bakit, Bakit laging ganun siya sabi mo sa mga tao, puyat ka? Sabi ko, okay naman, kasi yung puyat ko, masaya naman ako. Pero you know what? Marami pang ibang bagay na nangyayari sa buhay mo. Marami pang iba. We're beginning to write our second book. We're creating content. We're creating podcast. We're, we're doing the business. We're adjusting. And she was, tell, she was telling me something very, very powerful na she was telling me to change my daily narrative, to expose God's grace. Now, ask the person beside you, what is your daily narrative? Di ba? Ano yung, pag tinanong ka, kamusta ka, ano lagi mong binabanggit? Ay, ito, wala pa rin pera. Di ba? Okay, kamusta ka? Ito, magkaaway kami ng asawa ko, magkaaway kami ng anak ko. I'm not saying to, to, to hide the bad things, kasi in social media, we do that already. I'm just saying, have you been changing your daily narrative as well to expose God's grace in your life? In one day, how much or ilang percentage that you speak about God's grace happening in your life versus speaking about problems happening in your life? Sana mas mataas yung God's grace. Tiwala pa tayo. Kasi merong grasya. Number two, galingan mo pa. Kasi merong grasya. Ang alam mo, nung ginagawa ko itong talk na to, ang sarap na gireminis ako. I was... Alam mo, nire-rewind mo sa utak mo lahat ng mga magandang nangyayari sa buhay mo. Tapos everything was grace. I love this. In, 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 in Galingan mo kami, Gracia, it was 2013 when a friend of ours went to, to the bank kasi my wife was still employed in the bank. Tapos sabi niya, love, sali ka sa pa-contest ko. Um, kasi ano siya, isang magaling na uh, videographer, photographer for wedding. So during that time, 2013, ang cost ng, ng coverage is around 80,000 to 100,000 pesos. And magpapakasal na kami ni Love, and wala naman kami ganun kalaking pera pang pakasal, di ba? Kung pwede nga lang, cellphone na lang, pwede na yan. Picture na lang natin ang magandang anggulo yan, okay na. And then sabi ni Love, sali tayo. Ano bang kailangan gawin? Isulat mo yung love story mo. Ang dami-dami magandang love story dyan eh. Paano tayo mananalo dyan, di ba? So hindi, sige lang, isulat mo lang. Ikwento mo lang yung buhay natin kung paano natin ginawang God-centered, paano tayo nag-struggle, challenges, lahat yan, ikwento mo lang. So we wrote our love story. 
And then to, to, to cut it short, for example, the announcement of the winners was Wednesday. Okay? So lahat kami, nakaabang kami dalawa Wednesday. Wednesday, ate niyan. Wednesday, libre coverage. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, walang tumawag. O paano yan? Sabi ko, edi balik sa cellphone. Di ba? Ang <laughs> gabi natin. Thursday, tumawag sa kanya. Eh kasi ano yun eh, magbag, nag, ang nangyari yun kasi nag-down payment na kami sa kanya. Nag-down payment na kami sa kanya. Tapos, lahat na mamang bubok sa kanya, will be part of that contest. So kung hindi mo makuha, lagot ka. Babayaran mo na yung coverage niya. Di ba? Nag-down ka na eh. Thursday, tumawag siya. Tapos si Love, hala, sabi niya, Sir, ano, talo kami, hindi kami nakakuha kahapon. Sabi niya, hindi, Love, sorry, nalimot ko lang tumawag kahapon. Bibisita ako dyan bukas, ha, sa bangko. Bakit? Ibabalik ko yung down payment na cheque. Kasi nanalo kayo, libre ang coverage nyo sa akin. Wow. Di ba? Kaya sabi ko, ang galing. Ang galing talaga. Sabi ko, habang meron, sali na rapol, dali, bahayad lupa. <laughs> Pero galingan mo pa kasi may grasya. If you're in the middle of something, you're into business, you're into, maybe you're, you're fixing your married life, maybe you're fixing your family life, and you're having a hard time right now, but you're giving your everything, you're, you're bringing out your skill, never underestimate the power of the Lord when skill meets grace. So, galingan mo pa, kasi know that there is grace. Nung panahon ng pandemic, sabi ko nga, the si- it, it's, a, it's a go, sige. In the ministry, nag-adjust po ang feast, but it's, it was the season of what? Season ng nakamute ka. Di ba? Alam nyo, it was noted na during that pandemic, 2020 pa lang, ha, the most used words during the time is that, nakamute ka. Di ba? Tubing may Zoom, lagi may kasama, nakamute ka, nakamute ka. Di ba? But it was during that time, the ministry adjusted as well. Nahirapan tayong lahat. Nahirapan din kami. Lahat kami gusto. We want to have our own life. We want to, yung financial life natin. May family life ka. May ministry life ka pa. And people are adjusting. Fear is all over. Adjustment is all over. Nahirapan pa rin. But there are people na ginalingan pa rin nila kahit nahihirapan na sila. Bakit? Kasi alam nilang may grasya. And that's why we're still here in Feast Valley VPM. Because there are people here, even the time of pandemic, who kept on serving, giving their time, treasure, and talent. And maybe, maybe iba, yung iba dito, kayo yun. So can we just give a clap offering to all the servants, to all those who, to your leaders, your preachers, to all the members here who joins even the online, di ba? Kasi galingan mo pa dahil merong grasya. And I'm just giving a simple talk here, a simple message here that God is telling us, kung nahihirapan ka na, sige, pahinga ka. Pero galingan mo pa. Kasi hindi mo malalaman o malay mo, malapit na. Malapit na. Pakasabi sa katabi mo, malay mo, malapit na. Amen? And lastly, I want to give this message to you. If you're someone who's been thinking, praying, hoping to create something new in your life and for the longest time, hindi mo pa rin siya ginagawa, I'm not asking you to resign, okay? Kasi sa office, Sana yung mga tao sa ganyan eh. mag resign na ako, ayoko na dito. After one year, mag resign na ako, ayoko dito. Naandang pa rin sila, di ba? But if you, uy, may tumatawa dito, isa kilala ko yun. <laughs> di ba? If you want something in your life, and you're afraid of doing it, but you know it's gonna bless you and other people, this is for you. Simulan mo na. Kasi, may grasya. Amen? Alam nyo, um, a month ago, pumunta kami sa Batangas ulit. Bumisita kami sa Batangas. I'm, I'm, I'm ending my message already. So, after this, mag-worship na tayo. Gusto ko lang ikwento sa inyo na a month ago, pumunta kami ng Batangas. Tapos kasama namin isang friend doctor namin in the ministry. Her name is Dr. Katre Molino. So, si Dr. Rakat, pinasal din namin sa Batangas, nag-enjoy kami. Sinama ko ang buong pamilya, may wife, may, uh, may yung anak ko, yung dalawa. Tapos, ang nakakatawa dito, after namin mamasyal sa, sa bukid, si Dr. Rakat, sabi niya, kain tayo. Saan pwedeng kumain? Eh, hindi mo na ako familiar kung saan masarap kumain sa area namin kasi ang kinakainan ko lagi doon, yung luto nung, nung namamahala ng farm namin, yung pamilya na nandun. Ang sarap kasi nila magluto. So, never ako naghanap ng ibang pagkainan doon. Eh, during that time, wala nakaluto 
yung mga kasama namin doon, ang sarap pong kumain doon, yung fresh na fresh, bagong pitas na okra, bagong pitas na, na kamatis, gagawin bulang lang. Tapos iba yung lasa, iba yung lasa talaga. So sabi niya, hanap tayo ng kakainan. Sabi ko, sige, Dok, hanap tayo. Drive kami ng ganyan. Kasi may nakita ako, Ben Salo-Halo. Eh, yung Ben Salo-Halo sa Laguna, meron yun eh. So parang walang, parang walang na iba, di ba? Sabi ko, Dok, wala talaga akong alam. Pwede bang dito nilang tayo kumain? O sige, no choice tayo. Kain nilang tayo dito. So, kain kami, kain, kain. Si Anya, my daughter, she wanted to go home already. Papa, I want to go home na. I want to go home. Eh, ang haba ng biyahe. Tapos sabi ko sa kanya, o sige, anak, kita na lang. Do you want to go to the beach? Never pa siya nakapunta ng beach. Eh, magbabirthday siya during that time. Ang, pr- ang promise namin sa birthday niya, dalawa lang naman, bike and beach. So, hindi ko alam paano kami magbe-beach, di ba? Hindi pa scheduled. Sabi ni Doc Kat, Uy, Drus, punta tayo ng beach, doon tayo magkwentuhan. Kahit mag- magbuko juice lang tayo doon, mag-smoothie lang tayo. Tapos sabi ko kay Anya, do you want to go to the beach? Yes, Papa, let's go to the beach! Nasa kagad. So, ang, ang anak ko po kasi pa na-excite, hihintong kumain. Gusto niya next na gagawin. So pinapakain mo siya, Anya na, I want to go to the beach, sabi niya ganun. And then this is what happened. Pumunta kami kanyang sa beach. Sabi ko, anak, I will not swim, you will not swim. Why? We don't have our, our swimsuit. Ang suot ko, jogging pants. Ang suot ko, t-shirt. Ang anak ko, walang pang swimming. Wala siyang pang swimming. Ang nanay niya, wala rin. Bitbit pa si Pio. Si Dokat, wala rin pang swimming. So sabi ko, anak, we'll just go to the beach. Tampisaw lang ng paa. Kung gusto mo kamay, huwag hilamos ka ng ganyan. Pero we'll not go to the, we'll, we'll not swim. We cannot. Eto ng anak ko, Papa, beach! Pagkita, pagkita ng beach, takbo agad, nahabol ako, habol, habol. O sige, anak, hanggang dito lang ha. Sabi ko, I'm willing na mabasa ang jogging pants ko ba sa anak hanggang dito lang. Saan ka naman nakakita ng dagat na hindi umaalon? So, pakitan yung picture dito. So, ang dagat, kita nyo yung basa? <laughs> hanggang saan umabot? Nakita nyo, di ba? Diyan po umabot yung basa. So, ako parang habang, bab- habang paalon ng paalon, sabi ko, uuwi ako ng basa. Uubi ako ng basa. Lagot na, wala akong ano. Pero yung anak ko naman, yay, yay, beach. Mama, come here, mama. Let's swim, let's swim, let's swim. Sabi ko, anak, no, 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 no. Mama cannot go with you because mama has no swimsuit. Oh, mama has no swimsuit. Anya has swimsuit. Sabi ko, anak, hindi yan swimsuit. No, this is swimsuit, papa. We will swim. Langoy, 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 langoy. Basang-basa kami. Ito na ang problema ngayon. Uubi na kami. Sabi ko, nakitingin na kami mga asawa, paano ko uuwi ngayon? Sabi ko, uuparin ko ito sa kotse. Diba? Ang, hi- ang hirap pa na, ikakain pa kami pagkatapos. Ang hirap kumain ng basang-basa yung... This is what happened. Buti siya, may dalas ng damit. Yung baby bag, lagi maraming damit yun. Lagi may diaper yan, kompleto yan, diba? Pagdating namin doon, may isang pamilya naliligo sa kabilang shower. Tingitingnan ko yung size ng lalaki. Kakahiyaman, ikikwento ko sa inyo to. <laughs> Sabi ko, malaki-laki ng konti, yung lolo. Ayun, payat-payat ng konti. Ligo, ligo. Kasi open shower siya. Ligo, tuwan-tuwan yung anak ko. Ligo, ligo, ligo. Wala man lang kaming shampoo din dala pang bata. May bata rin silang kasama. Tingnan ko yan. Asta pumakasok yung asawa. Lumabas yung misis. Miss. Yung miss parang, Miss. Kahiyahiya naman po. Sabi ko, ano yun? May extra shorts ba yung asawa mo? <laughs> sabi ko, sabi ko, Lord, pandemic to, nakakahiya, hihiram ako ng shorts. Sabi ko sa kanya, pasensya na po kayo kasi po, biglaan po talaga itong lakad namin. Tanong po to, yung pong panganay ko, ito ang tuwa po sa dagat, basang basa po. Sakitan nila ako, basang basang ganyan. Wala po talaga akong dalang shorts. Sabi ko, kung okay po sa inyo at kung meron po kayo, bibilhin ko na lang yung shorts ng asawa mo. Tapos alam mo, lumabas yung lolo. Ano yan? Ano yung problema dyan? Wala daw shorts. <laughs> Sabi ng lolo sa akin, payat ako, di kasya sa'yo. Tapos lumabas yung kasawa, malaki-laki ng konti. Sabi niya, kawawa naman. Sabi niya, nag-enjoy ba yung anak mo? Opo, nag-enjoy. Sige, nabili ko nilang, ito, ito, meron ako. Kumuha. Alam mo yung habang kumukuha ng shorts, para bumubukas ng langit. <laughs> Tuwan-tuwa ako ganyan. Pagkuha shorts, Eto pa, dahil pandemic, nahihiyang lumapit. So, hinagi sa akin, shorts! <laughs> yung anak ko, shorts! As, alam nyo, pagkatapos nun, bihis ako, tapos puntahan ko sila, magbabayad ako. 
Magkano bang barya ko dyan? 300 ang meron akong barya. O sige, sunyo na po ito, sunyo. Hindi, wag na, wag na, wag na. Hindi po, sige na po, 300. Hindi, matagal na yan, gamit na gamit na yan. Sige po, 10,000 gusto nyo po. <laughs> Ay talaga nila. And it was, alam mo, sobrang tuwang-tuwa ako. Tapos, alam nyo, pag uwi namin ng bahay, yung anak ko, habang bago kami matulog, ayaw matulog. Talon ng talon sa kama. Tapos sabi niya, shorts! Shorts! <laughs> <laughs> yung nanay niya, ano yan? Eh kasi yun yung ganun yung pagkakabigay sa akin ng shorts kanina. <laughs> Nakita niya, so she was copying. Shorts! But I'm sharing this to you. Why? Ask me why! Sabi ni Dokat sa amin, this is a biglaan surprise for everyone. It's a biglaan surprise. But then, you know what? Because it's my daughter's birth month during that, that time, and dumating yung beach na kasama sa plano namin for birthday, ang sabi sa akin ni Lord, Hindi yan biglaan. It was long planned already by me years ago pa that this would be a treat for you and for your Anya. Matagal nang may nakalaan na biyaya para sa inyo. And Sige nga, can we all stand as we, we close this message for this afternoon? Bakit hindi mo sisimulan kung alam mo na may biyayang matagal nang nakaplano sa si Lord para sa iyo na inaantay lang na kumilos ka para makuha mo siya kung alam mo sisimulan mo amen di ba kaya nga in, 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 when we pray before again I, I, I always ask this in the feast may bisawa na kayo dito sino sa inyo marunong magluto taas ang kamay okay marunong kumain Masarap kumain. Pakitaplik, sabihin mo, obvious naman. <laughs> What's our prayer? Bless us, O Lord, in this thy gifts. The gift is a grace. That's why we say, can we now say grace? Diba? We pray for grace. We say grace. And knowing that there's grace, I, I hope that the message is coming into our hearts right now that tiwala ka pa. Baka na doon ka sa may kailangan may pinagdadaanan ka ngayon hindi mo alam saan papunta. And there, you cannot find the answer right now. Alam mo, ang sarap sana kung ang plano ni Lord kitang-kita mo eh. May sakit, oh, huwag ka mag-alala, next year magaling na. Eh, walang ganun eh. Wala yung tipong ah, tapos yan, six months, okay na yan, Gag- mawawala yung bukol na yan, tapos yan. Walang ganun eh. Pero pag alam mo may grasya, tiwala ka pa. Bawas tayo ng konting, wag ng konti, bawas na tayo ng stress sa kapag-aalala. It's human in us to have that, but then, God's grace is telling us, you can't let go. Because God wants the best for you. Ang hirap niyan eh, di ba? Ay, iho, nagkamali ako, sabi ng doktor, nagkamali ako ng ano, ng diagnosis sa'yo. Akala ko, 10 years to live ka pa, 10 na lang pala. Anong 10? 10, 9, 8, 7, Tiwala pa tayo. When you go out of this room right now, we worship a great God, tiwala pa tayo. Maybe you're in the middle of something and you feel like nothing is happening. You, you made that cold call, no one said yes to your sales offer. You started the business, you posted in social media, no one is buying your product. Or maybe you're doing your best but you feel like, I'm halfway but I'm, I, don't, I don't see the, 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 the end yet. And Lord, may kapupuntahan ba to? Meron. So, galingan mo pa. Galingan mo pa kasi may grasya. In the time of pandemic, ginalingan pa namin magbigay. Wala na kami, nagbigay pa din kami. Giving in times of plenty, in empty, and in worry. Then someone called us. Drew, is your business providing videos? Our business is not doing that. We're a consultants in training. But in the pandemic, ang daming nawalan ng mga videographer's wedding. Nag-post lahat, eh, di ba? So yung mga gigs ng mga videographers na wala. Sabi ko, ah, I can help you. Can you help us? Sige, gawa tayo. So naghanap ako ng video team. And you know, we were supposed to create one video, turn to 10 videos for hospitals. And the contract ended. We did 130 plus videos nationwide up to Mindanao. So sabi ko kay Love, hindi natin market yan. Saan galing yan? God's grace. God's grace. 
And then when the grace was there, we said, yes, sige lang, hanap tayo. Alam mo, nakakaidyak yung kasi yung mga videographers na wala ng trabaho. Luma- Nag-message sila, thank you. May, may pangkain ngayon yung family ko. There's one videographer exactly sabi niya ganito, alam niyo po, meron po akong dalawang special child. Hirap po ako kasi may pagamot pa, may ganito. Hindi ko na po alam kung paano gagawin. But because nagbigay po kayo ng project sa amin, I think taga Cebu ata, ito, may project ang binigay sa amin. Nagkaroon po kami ng pag-asa. Nagkaroon po kami ng negosyo. And what do you call that? God's grace. God's grace. Begin to live every day knowing that there is grace and that everything is grace. The door is open. Initially, the justification before we were born, God paved the way for us. But you have to open to enter the door. You have to play inside the room. You have to, to do your thing. But it was already given to you. The grace is available. The grace is powerful. And my last message is that, isipin mo lahat ng mga grace moments sa buhay mo. My wife is a grace moment to me. Nung nawalang kami ng, ng yung, yung huminto, yung makina, nung youth days namin, nasa ibang minister pa kami nila, Mike Vinas, during, during that time, kasama namin yung ibang friends, yung gas boy na tumulong sa amin para magtulak ng, ng yung tawag namin, si Warvan, paghahakot ng mga speakers, ng mga gamit sa youth ministry, yung tumulong sa amin na magtulak, at tawag ko doon, God's grace. Yung umuulan na, wala kang payong, tapos biglang huminto yung jeep sa'yo para masasakyan mo, God's grace. Yung pagod na pagod ka na, yung kaibigan mo nag-message sa'yo, kamusta ka na? It's called God's grace. Now, when you see trucks outside, says, do not delay perishable goods. I'm giving the same message to you right now. Please do not delay doing good to other people because you'll never know you are the grace that God is sending to that person. Amen. Paikutin natin ang grasya kung nasaan tayo. At times you receive grace and at times you give grace. Baka ang grasya ang kailangan mong ibigay, forgiveness. Ibigay mo na. Baka ang kailangan, patience, pag-unawa, ibigay mo na. Ano ba naman ang lumapit ka mamay ang mag-message ka and say, sorry, mali ako. Matthew chapter 25 verse 35 for I was hungry and you gave me something to eat I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink I was a stranger and you invited me in I needed clothes and you clothed me I was sick and you looked after me I was in prison and you came to visit me at times ikaw ang bibisitahin at times ikaw ang bibisita but everything is grace Let's come to the the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we surrender our lives to you. Thank you. Lord, here we are, imperfect, sinful, yet loved by you. Lord, allow us to, to see, to go back to our life wherein we receive your grace. Grace that is undeserved, yet given to us for free. let us worship you in these moments of grace and Lord maybe there are people here right now who, who are in the middle of something and they feel that they're lost disheartened maybe they need direction maybe they need that support and push Lord we we will trust your grace we will keep serving doing what we're called to do as a father as a mother as a husband as a wife as a sibling, as a brother, sister, as a lolo, as a lola, gagalingan pa namin kasi may grasya. And if there's one thing in my life that I have been long delaying, but they have been calling me because this is going to bless me and the world around me. Lord, today, I avail your courage para masimulan ko na Kasi alam ko, may grasya. And so Lord, we give back everything to you. May all that we do, we give it to you. We receive, we give to the grace giver.
to our Father, to our Healer, to our Provider, to our Creator, to our Lover, and to our Savior. Amen and amen. Let's give the Lord a clap offering. Let's worship Him. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. I give my heart. I give my soul. I give my strength. Lord, take control. Tap the person beside you and say, Bring home the grace. Amen. Amen. So, as you are writing your prayer intentions in your love offering, let me tell you this story. Siguro hindi lang kami pareho ng kulay ng shirt ni Drus. Pareho rin kaming may kwento tungkol sa aming mga wedding videographer. <laughs> so, kami pong mag-asawa, before we got married, we're already serving in the youth ministry. And, because we were serving there, we were already giving our tithe regularly, taken from our allowance. So, kahit na nag-work na kami, nag-ibigay pa rin kami. Eto na, syempre, pag ikakasal kayo, kailangan kayo mag-budget. Diba? Fix lang kung ano yung mga kaya yung kuning suppliers. And we went to this wedding expo, nakahanap na kami ng videographer through the expo. Tapos, nakasulat, ganun ang pag-wedding expo, di ba? Sabi ko, ang galing sa wedding expo, lahat ng kailangan ninyo nandito. Sabi ko, sana pumunta din yung mga single dito dahil feeling ko may mga binibenta rin na groom. Punta kayo wedding expo to, lahat ng kailangan nyo para sa asal nandito. Di ba? Tapos nung sa, sa booth nung, nung supplier na yon, andun lahat ng mga price rates nila. On the other side, mga sample shots. Tapos lahat ng mga awards nung photographer. So, alam mo award-winning photographer to. On the top of the list was the the premium package. Yung pinakamahal. Which we cannot afford. Pero talagang ang promise nila doon, yung award-winning photographer, yung owner ng company, will be the one to shoot the wedding. Together with the team. So, tinanong namin yung nandun sa booth, ano po yung second dyan sa, sa premium? Ito yung second, which is half the price. Ang magsushoot yung anak nung may-ari. Sige yan, maka-afford namin. Yan na lang po. So we, we gave our down, pinabook na namin. Sinet na namin yung aming prenup shots or prenup schedule nung, nung photos namin. And, and we did the shoot. Nakita namin yung sample. Tuwan-tuwa kami. Uy, ang ganda. Sige po, next na pumunta kami sa office, we'll give our full payment. 
So, punta kami sa office, magabayad na kami. Ito na yung secretary, sabi na ko, ma'am, may problema po tayo. An- ano pong problema? Yung anak po nung may-ari na double book, meron pala siyang prior commitment bago namin siya binook for your wedding. Kaya, iba po ang maa-assign na photographer sa inyo. So, nalungkot kami, di ba pang, ay, pero yun ang pinramis nyo sa amin, di ba? So, yung wife ko talagang lungkot na lungkot lang. Hindi naman kami, maka- hindi naman kami nakikipagtahal, sabi lang, sayang naman. While, while the commotion was going on, hindi namin alam yung may-ari nasa likod na ikinig sa usapan at lumabas. Sabi niya, ano bang problema ni ma'am mo ang lungkot na lungkot? Pinaliwanag, sir. <laughs> yung anak ninyo kasi na double book kaya kailangan nating palitan yung photographer nila. And you know what the dad said? Check in mo yung schedule ko kung ba ante ko ako magsushoot sa mag-asawang yan. And lo and behold, blanco yung schedule niya nung araw ng kasal namin. And so he went and he was there, the award-winning photographer covering our wedding for half the price. So my dear friends, as you right there on your love offering envelope, I know the Lord will surprise you. Yung mga parang akala mo sa umpisa unpleasant, nakakainis, tapos biglang it turns out to be a blessing in disguise. Amen. And so as you are writing, I am going to flash here on the screen the different ways wherein you can give. Sige nga. Likod ko yan. <laughs> here are the different ways you can give different banks that we have. East West Bank, BDO, and you can give through credit card. We also have PayPal. I, I pay Maya. There. Pay Maya. So just get the QR code. Hopefully soon we'll have our GCash as well. And if you want to go old school, andyan pa rin po yung ating envelopes. Paglabas nyo mamaya, we have baskets. You can give it out to our ushers and they will collect your love offering. Amen. And now for more things that are happening here at the feast, let's continue watching the screen as we are about feast news. What's up, FaceTime? I'm Jennifer Mosso, your Face News anchor for this edition. We've got events lined up in our local feast that will really help us in our faith journey. So stick around with me until the end of this video. For our first event, this is for all the singles and young adults out there. Our Feast Alabang Singles and Young Adults Ministry invites you to join Asawa Ball, knowing the red and green flags before marriage. This will be a virtual event happening on June 25, Saturday at 7 p.m. with special guest speaker, Brother Belden Lim. To join, just go to bit.ly slash all caps FAD Asawa Ball. We will also be live on Facebook via Feast Alabang Singles and Young Adults Ministry Facebook page. Calling all married couples here! We want you to discover God's plan and experience and live out the fantastic marriage He intended you to have. The Feast Alabang Couples Ministry invites all couples to the Lux Couples Retreat happening on July 30 to 31 at Angels Hills Retreat Center in Tagaytay. There will be an investment fee of 4,500 per couple. Register through the link bit.ly slash Lux17 or send a message through the contact on your screen. You may also visit our info bar right outside this ballroom for more details. Next up, this is for our Wednesday Feast fam! Wednesday Feast Festival of the Bank will be celebrating its 11th anniversary on June 15 with a homecoming special at the Expo Trade Hall in Festival Mall of the Bank. Go all out and invite your WFFA friends to this special celebration. Happy 11th anniversary, WFFA! And to everyone here, we want you to stay connected with our Feast family. If you are new to the Feast, 
if you want to sign up for a life group or ministry, or if you wish to send your prayer petition so we can pray for you, check out our Feast Connect link that's flashed on the screen. That's it for this week's Feast News. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms to know the latest happenings at our Feast. Have an awesome and grace-filled week! God bless everyone! So I guess you've heard, we'll be celebrating our 11th anniversary, WFFA. Alright, palakpaan naman natin si Lord. So if you, I'm inviting all of you, if you want to join us, be there. That will be on June 15, that's 7.30pm. We have 6 o'clock pala, because we will have a Mass, because it's our anniversary. So 6 o'clock, we'll have a Mass, and then tuloy-tuloy na po yun. we'll have worship, we have talk. And I want you to invite your friends, especially those who are working on a Sunday. Most probably you know someone, you've invited them to the feast and you, they tell you, hindi ako maka-attend ng linggo eh. May work ako. Or family time talaga yun, hindi ako makaalis. Maybe it's their chance to be with us. Invite them. Tell them, meron sa expo in Philinvest Festival Mall. Pato sa mga hindi nakakaalam, nasa fourth floor po yun. Likod nung sinihan. We will be there. So I hope to see all of you there and I hope that you invite your friends, especially those who cannot join us on a Sunday. Amen? Alright, praise God for that. Can I invite all of you to stand up? Again, as you go out, if you want to drop your love offering envelope, we have baskets there. Let's pray. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father, we praise and thank you for all the grace that you've given. Grace that sometimes we don't deserve. Grace that falls in our lap at the perfect time brought about by the perfect people that you sent. I ask you, Lord God, that I may be a receiver of grace the same way that I can be a giver of grace that I become your instrument. And all this, Father, I pray in Jesus' name. And everyone say, Amen. Let's worship the Lord. Come on, everybody. Let's worship the Lord. As we pray, all glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. See you next week.